Silly Flowers is based at Churchtown Farm on St Martin's and the Isles of Silly and we send gift boxes of scented flowers to any doorstep in the UK. The Isles of Silly are a beautiful place to live um, and sometimes people say to you, well, don't you get, don't you get tired of the view? And you, you never do because it's always changing, the weather's always changing, the tide goes in and out, it always changes. And we're just so lucky that you know, you've just got the, the beach on your doorstep, you can go, go and enjoy that. I moved here with my parents when I was 16. Our uh, parents took on the farm and uh, we've been here ever since, uh, growing flowers and sending them by post. We got a unique climate here in Scilly, so we don't get the very cold temperatures. We tend not to get frosts and snows, um, and that means that actually things can keep growing, and the scented narcissi in particular are capable of growing throughout the year. The narcissi actually grow really well in our sandy soil and they do quite well in the weather that we get thrown at us as well, despite looking quite delicate, they're quite resilient to, to wind. I reckon we send about 90,000 boxes of flowers over the whole year, but a lot of those go at Christmas. We're really busy at Christmas, that's the main, the main bit of the Narcissi season for us. And then in the summer we move to our scented pinks. Narcissi has got a long history with St Martins. If you look around the landscape, you'll see that a lot of the older houses have got glass houses attached to them, old fashioned glass houses. Every family had a few fields and would grow a few narcissi and bring them into the glass houses to open them up. So that was the way they had to do it. Now we do it slightly differently. We grow tall fences all around our fields to protect them. We're always thinking what, what's the best way to do this, what's, the, what's going to be best for the environment. And so we've got the flowers, but we've also got a beef herd as well. And the, those cows came along because we, um, there was a need for the, our local wildlife trust. They, they wanted some graziers to do some conservation grazing out on the, the headlands of the island. So we said, well, yeah, we could, we could do that. But bringing that into the way we farm, into the cycle of our farming, um, has definitely made us a better farm. Lots of people pick by them for us because they love Silly. They've been on holiday here and they want to send flowers that remind them of the lovely holiday they had. Another reason is they want to know the provenance of their flowers. So you know, we've picked them, we've packed them and then we've posted them so they, and they move quite quickly from field to, to doorstep so that they've gone from the field packed on the boat. It's still amazing, even today, if you give someone some flowers, the first thing they'll do is smell it. And the majority of flowers these days don't have a scent. And if you give them a flower which is scented, you see their face light up. You know, we're one of the very few businesses that is focusing on scented flowers year round, grown in the UK. You know, I, I'm really proud of that. <laughs>